Cleveland Botanical Garden is an urban botanical garden, and the mission is to enhance people's lives through plants. Vacant to Vibrant is a Great Lakes Protection Fund supported project that is exploring the effectiveness of small green infrastructure parcels that are embedded in residential urban neighborhoods to see how well these installations improve the water quality of the Great Lakes. We're working in Gary, Indiana, in the Etna neighborhood, in Woodland Hills in Cleveland, Ohio, and we're also working in Buffalo, New York's west side. So in each of those neighborhoods, we all have three small parcels that are put into green infrastructure in the form of rain gardens and bioswales, and then we also have layered on top of that recreational use. And through partnerships with a variety of organizations, we've been able to understand the problems that we're trying to address in more depth, to be able to see the complexity of the problems. Sometimes that's scary, but it's also ensuring that the product that we create will be useful and replicable. Push Buffalo as an organization stands for People United for Sustainable Housing. And we started conversations with Cleveland and other Great Lakes cities around what we were doing with stormwater management. And the Cleveland Botanic Garden is both a botanic garden, but also a research center. And they had this project, Vacant to Vibrant, that was looking at how you could use vacant lots to address stormwater management issues. And it seemed like a really great partnership that we could learn from what other cities were doing. And this site had been a vacant lot for, a, for many years. It had fallen into disrepair. And over the summer, we worked with neighbors to talk about different design options for the site. So I think people appreciate that we have a beautiful community site um, that can also be a social space, that it's maintained, that it has an environmental impact, and get it out there as a model. Part of what PUSH does is, you know, we, we go out to the community and ask what they want to see before we go out and do something. So, you know, for instance, one of our bacon to vibrant lots is going to have a hammer court as part of it. So that's something the community really wanted to see on this lot. One of the less explored aspects of green infrastructure are the social benefits that it can provide. If strategically placed, green infrastructure can help stabilize communities by beautifying them, by providing recreational use, and you can start to see improvements to property values. And also, as people's stress lowers, you can see improvements to human health. The Cleveland Botanical Garden came to Shell Street Club meetings, and they showed us pictures of what we can get they had sets they could build where walkways, benches, and, and, and you can come and sit down and picnic, read a book. It turned out pretty good. And I'm dying to see it when the weather break and the grass grow and people come and sit around and the kids come and play. The impact is going to show the community, the Shale Street Club and the Cleveland Botanical Garden is trying to do its best to build our neighborhood up. The small nature of these projects make them more likely to be integrated into urban redevelopment plans. So if you picture these residential neighborhoods that over decades have gone through this process of very piecemeal abandonment and demolition and conversion to vacant land, that process is going to operate in reverse as these become redeveloped. And so we see the potential for these small, multi-purpose urban green spaces to be integrated into that redevelopment planning. We are excited to be working with the Cleveland Botanical Garden because we certainly have a lot of vacancies in the city of Gary. And we thought that if we looked at those vacancies in a different way to see the opportunity for an environmentally sound method that would not only allow us to deal with the vacancy, but to deal with some of the other challenges that we have, like stormwater management, like employment, we thought that it was an all-around win that would benefit the future of our community. The Vacant to Vibrant team that said, let's look at taking areas that are in distress in urban areas and turning them into an asset for the lakes. And they began to build the criteria that said, what if we shape the future of these distressed urban properties along some specific performance criteria that manage how rain moves from the sky into the lakes? Ten times more water falls on the land in the Great Lakes than we pump out of them. And in these urban areas, that are undergoing transformation, this team has spotted an undervalued asset to 
take their neighborhoods and make them Great Lakes friendly. Ultimately, the goal is to replicate the installations that we have in other communities within the same cities and also in other cities around the Great Lakes region.